Hi there, and welcome to the TLX Just-In-Time Quick Tutorial. My name is Mandy McCurdy, and I'm an accessibility consultant at the college. Today, we're going to talk about accommodations and accessibility in your classroom. So, you've received the email stating a student in your class requires accommodations. You log into the Accessible Learning Services portal through StuView and you review the plan, but you still have questions. Hopefully, the next few minutes will help answer some of those questions. Documentation is required for accommodations. When a student registers with Accessible Learning Services, they need to submit documentation outlining the nature of their disability. This means you can trust us. We've done the work for you. There's no need to ask the student for extra documentation or to prove that they need accommodations. Our office ensures that appropriate information is submitted, and then we use this information to recommend accommodations and to ensure the student's legal right to accommodations as established in the Ontario Human Rights Code. The documentation that I just mentioned, yes, it's confidential. We don't disclose the nature of a student's disability because they have the legal right to privacy. So please don't ask them what their disability is. You don't want everyone to know your entire history and the same goes for the students. Please respect the student's right to confidentiality. Model good professional boundaries by keeping the focus on your classroom content and ensuring the students get the most out of your expertise. Communication is key. Sometimes accommodations take a little bit of time to arrange. Sometimes accommodations require an organization of additional resources. And sometimes accommodations help students manage multiple demands in competing priorities. In all of these cases, clear advanced communication is necessary to ensure the accommodation process goes smoothly. Post your due dates with lots of advance notice. Share your learning materials days before class. And forget that pop quiz, no one likes that surprise. And for students with accommodations, it may mean they don't have the opportunity to participate. Outcomes-based learning is for everyone. Accommodations are provided to remove barriers so that the students can achieve and demonstrate the course outcomes. Accommodations do not mean that outcomes are changed or modified. If you feel that an accommodation jeopardizes an outcome, come talk to us. We are here to support the student and you. If you have a question or concern, please don't hesitate to contact us. You can find the assigned accessibility consultant at the top of the accommodation letter or contact Let's Talk at georgebrown.ca. There's no question too big or too small, and we want you to feel confident in providing the appropriate accommodation for the student. Our goal is to make sure the student has access to your course content. You're the expert in the field. Accommodations allow the student to access your expertise and meet the course outcomes. Additionally, we love referrals and shout outs, so ensure that you share accessible learning services information through your announcements, PowerPoints, and virtual sessions. Thanks for spending a few minutes of your time learning more about accessibility and accommodations in the classroom. This has been a TLX Just-In-Time Quick Tutorial. See you next time! <laughs>